Hey guys and welcome back to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 33 of Let's Play Tales of Monkey Island. In the previous episode, well, <laughs> I thought I did alright, but according to you guys in the comments, I didn't. Because the second bit on this map, this quest, this challenge, whatever it's called, I thought I'd done that. The second course, but apparently I haven't. So I'm going to go back to the jungle and uh, just look again. At the, I'm going to look at the altar, because I think I've missed something at the altar. But before I do that, I am also... I fold this up before I put it in my pocket. Thank you very much, Guybrush. I am also going to check out uh, the bar, because, again, you said that I've walked past something in the bar, which should should have seen. Maybe it's that. Oh, no. Buffet. Oh, we did that. We did the buffet It's table. like Elaine and Morgan have made a dog's breakfast of your buffet. What? That mess? Oh, pshaw, my boy. That's just the typical aftermath of our weekly ladies' night buffet table. <laughs> our lady pirates may be easy on the eyes, but heaven help you if you get between them and our bottomless salad bowl. Ooh, Thanks. nice. Bottomless salad bowl from the harvester. That's a good salad bowl. I like the pineapples. But that's, um, that's another story altogether. I wouldn't even call it story. Right, what else? Because I don't think that's got anything to do with it. What's this here? A pepper. It's got to be a pepper, Fugu isn't Jalokia. it? Seems pretty harmless. Fugu Jalokia. Let's have a look at this sign. Are you pirate enough to take the Fugu Jalokia challenge? No. Can I? Can I take the Fugu, Fugu, Fugu Jalokia challenge? Um, maybe I'll have to pick it up with this. That might be a good way to pick up a pepper, but its case is closed. Okay. Um, can I open it? Can I cut this rope? Maybe you can help me. I'd like to do hey, the Fugu, Fugu Jaloki. There you, there you go. The Fugu Jaloki challenge. Forget the jungle. Who needs the jungle? We're going to skip the jungle and go straight to the Fugu Jaloki challenge. Why not? Tell me about this Fugu Jaloki challenge. Ah, a connoisseur of peculiar culinary delights, are we? Um, yes. Sure. Then you surely have heard of the Fugu Jaloki, the hottest pepper in this world or the next. Oh, that Fugu Jalokia. I acquired that specimen of the Fugu pepper many years ago from a three-legged bandit named Ort, winning it from him when I was able to place me tongue on the pepper for ten entire seconds. How eccentric. Since that tongue-destroying day, I vowed to pass on the pepper to the first pirate who can successfully put his tongue on the Fugu Jalokia for 11 seconds. And that challenge accepted. Thank you very much. In real life, I would smash this challenge. I love spice. The hotter, the better. Um, I'm assuming Guybrush isn't going to be able to do it. Okay, Pepper, prepare to meet your master. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't handle a korma, could he? Okay, mental note. The Fugu Jalokia is hot to the touch, too. Okay, hot to the touch. Can we... Aha! Use the hook. And then we can hook it. Oh, do I have to get through that whole rigmarole again? I'd like to try again, please, Mr. WP. Hey, WP. I'd like to take the Fugu Jalokia challenge. I thought you looked like a man of gastronomic adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a challenger. Whoopee. <laughs> I was going to say, there's nobody there. Whenever you're ready, lad. Right, okay, this time, pick it up. I mean, I'm still presuming that it's going to burn his tongue off. Is there anything that I could, maybe I could sugar my tongue? I don't know, let's try and use this first. Ah, now that's using your mighty pirate brain, Threepwood. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, okay. So we need a way to put our tongue on that for 11 seconds. What have we got in our inventory? I mean, I'm thinking sugar. What's that? Tarot cards? use the sugar with it. It doesn't really seem right. Mm, I don't think so. I'm thinking like wax or something. Or a fake tongue, perhaps? Well, we've got a fake tongue. Maybe maybe I haven't got everything. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the jungle. Ouch! Oh, what was that? What was that? I said ouch for a reason. 
What was I out for? Was it this evil seagull? Filthy flying fecal flingers. Exactly. What was I out for? Fox cloud. Leaky manatee oil. Let's get that way. You're going, Guybrush. I can't pick up hot manatee oil with my bare hands. Okay, that puzzle's done anyway, isn't it? Um, I'm going back to the jungle. And I'm going to go to the altar because I want to get that done. I'm not going to be stuck here for another another episode. I promise it to you guys. I promise it. Cross my heart and hope to not be here again. Come on. I've had enough of Flotsam. We can do it. And also, thanks very much for the um, <laughs> for the notice to tell me that I've done it wrong because I would have just gone straight to the third one. Um, right. Can we go to the altar? What's that? Giant wind controlling device? No, we can't. Let's just go here. I just look at the map, don't I? Right. Map Alicious. We are here. So, uh, the altar is here. Okay. Let's go to the altar. Okay. Which was... Did I look at that? I did, didn't I? Altar is this way. So, what's different about the altar? Bet that's the sacrificial altar of the jungle beast that Hemlock was rambling about. Something very clear about the altar. One of you guys said there's definitely something I've missed about the altar. I've done the whole... Maybe I'll put this leg on it. We've replaced our usual fleshy sacrifice Ooh. with a clever simulacrum. Let's see if the jungle gods notice. Okay. Ooh, that's, that's different then, isn't it? Didn't try that before. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Go over here. Have they got to get a notice? Let's go back. Oh, it's still. Oh, what are they? Oh. Oh, are those like the butterfly, firefly thingamajigs? What were they? That was something to do with. Oh, in um, Mr. Singe's office. We read about stuff, didn't we? What do we read about? Can we pick it up? Can pick it up. Okay, are they gonna go? They are not gonna go. Hmm. I have a feeling I need to do something else. Because they weren't there before. Right, let's go. Uh, can I stick another leg on there? Now these are stinky legs, aren't they? They're not sugar legs. Let's go over here. That's it, gone. Now go over here. Now that's gone. And they've gone. Oh, okay. I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue. Or the tips of my eyes. I feel like it's on a tip somewhere. Hmm. Right, what I'm going to do... Where are you going, Guybrush? I'm going to go to the, um, I'm going to try and make another leg nice and sugary. The fireflies are attracted to the sugar water on the leg. Fascinating. And just a little nauseating. Right, okay. So this, sh can I put, can I put this? No, not that one. Can I put this leg in here? That doesn't need to be illuminated. No. Okay. I'm pretty sure the last time I tried to do the um, the leg like that, it didn't work because it said it's already sugary or something. But then these weren't there. Ooh. I don't know about mythical jungle beasts, but I always prefer my ritual sacrifices to be slathered in sugar water. Oh, fireflies! Fireflies are attracting it, right? Okay. So let's go this way. And then, I mean, the fireflies are there. I don't get it. It's gone. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we go. Let's follow. The, let's let's go. I mean, the fireflies are just like they were there anyway, weren't they? Pretty sure they were. 
And now I'm here again. Let's have a look at the map. Map, 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 map. Right, so I am here. Oh, we haven't been here yet. Ooh, let's go there. And we haven't been to the windy place either. Yeah, let's go straight on. Oh, get off, guy brush. Right, I'm going down here. Ooh. Vacalian. I wonder if we have to do something with this. Now that I know a little bit more about the Vacalians, it appears that we're nearing the end of the year of the fish and approaching the dawn of the year of the slightly bigger fish. Okay. Firefly illuminated hidden trail. I, I feel like we need to go to the Firefly illuminated hidden trail. Come on, G-Man. Do you think? Where, where? The mighty pirate hunter tracks his prey via his distinctive Firefly attracting spool. That's the legendary jungle beast of Flotsam Island? <laughs> it's like a Venus flytrap thingy? What's that? What's that in his mouth? That poor little flesh-eating stink bomb looks like he's in a world of pain. Ah, so you have to get this out and help him? Oh, look at that. The poor hideous flesh-eating plant is a smelly, rotting lion's paw caught in its teeth. Um, thorns. Hold still, little buddy. I'll get that nasty old hunk of meat out for... Yikes! Okay. We have to get that paw out. Um, can I use a hook to hook it out? Come on, plant. Fork over that paw. <laughs> oh, God, I'll no. never get my hands on that super stinky paw while that mouth is snapping at me. Uh, how can we make it not snap? Can we... Can we wedge it open with the lamp? Here, boy. <laughs> Ooh, that looks uncomfortable. But at least he's not snapping at me anymore. We can. We can wedge a plant open. Don't worry, you freakish little abomination. Dr. Guybrush will make it all better. Gotcha! <laughs> you. That is by far the foulest thing I've ever smelled in all my years of pirating. And that's coming from a guy who's just spent a few days inside a giant manatee. So what do we get? We got our leg back, burnt out leg lamp, and we got a lion's that paw. Lion's paw stinks worse than my mother-in-law's <gasps> neck folds. Oh, so that stinks. So maybe that's the, the leg that we need. Oh, my, all my other legs are gone. That must be the leg we need, unless it's this one. It can't be this now one. Now that the lamp's dead, it's nothing but a big tacky paperweight. No. So where's the map? Here we go. So put on a napkin. That's a sight. Garish cloth, grotesquely, grotesquely bright. Done. Big tick. Antipasta jungle meat gives off a smell like stinky feet. It has to be. Um. Okay. I'm kind of thinking. Do we? Do you have to like put it? I better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. All right. Do you have to put it on the sponge like that? Let's just try it. Oh no, that's how. It, that's not how we do it, is it? We do. Come on, little sponge. Eat the nice, smelly anti-pasta. That's a good sponge. That was a really bad joke, guy brush. Right, so we have to use... Every time we get something, we have to use it with... I pull the bone out of the there, thing. but I might lose my other hand. Okay. So we're on, to, we're on to the third. I can confidently say we're on to the third now. Which is... Third course. Before the main course, cleanse your palate with taste that hits you like a mallet. Oh, that's got to be the um, that's got to be the pepper. Unless one of these is the pepper. Let's have a look. Your main course will cause quite a flap. To find the sixth sense, use your map. I think we've already done that accidentally with the uh, tarot cards. Fifth course. Now engorge a small dessert. A touch so shocking it might hurt. That's got to be electricity. Your meal finished. Let out a cheer or belt so loud that all can hear. Right. Okay. I think we've got to do a pepper next. That's got to be the pepper taste. How do we... I better fold this up before I put it in my pocket. Thank you very much, Guy Rush. Much appreciated. What do we have here? I mean, maybe it's the sugar. Maybe it's the sugar water. Maybe you have another drink. Is there a way to get out? In fact, let's get out. We just do that, can't we? Is there a way where there's like a fake tongue or... 
some kind of I'm thinking about like some kind of there's hot wax in there, isn't there? I'm thinking I could I could coat my tongue in hot wax. But then I, I also feel like all of the fluids and stuff that are here are done with. Once I get La Esponja Grande working, I should probably figure out how to clean all that up. I agree. You just washed up on the shore of this beautiful island and decimated it with your disgusting pox. Right. Club door. We're gonna get this uh we're gonna get this pepper. Let's go to the hot wax first, see if we can see if we can lick it or something. Skull candle. Puddle of wax. Hot gooey wax. Yes. Lick it. <laughs> lick the wax guy brush. Can we pick it up? I don't wanna dick my hook into that. Okay. I don't know where it's been. What's that? Nothing. Skull candle. I wonder what happened to Murray. Murray was at the bottom of the ocean, wasn't he? At the end of episode two. Um to think what else maybe the sugar uh-uh yeah i kind of think that as well a pirate a dead pirate um maybe there's a drink that can numb my tongue or something right Four! yikes no nothing there is there let's see if there's another drink first Come on, garbage. Move. Thank you very much. Hey, WP. Okay, I'd like another drink. I told you, innocent, innocent. Uh, ladies' night. Blah blah blah. Why is this place called Club Forty One? Did we ask that before? I've been wondering. Why is this place called Club Forty One anyway? You know, I don't rightly know. <coughs> the last owner never got a chance to tell me before he succumbed to his dart-related injuries. <laughs> <laughs> Dart-related injuries. Oh, I want a drink. I want to numb Marky, my tongue. I'd like to order a drink. What'll it be? What'll it be? Volcano shots, fat island, fizzy nostril, have a grog. We've tried all of these. Hmm. Did any, did any of them numb our tongue? Let's try the volcano shots again. How about some more of those volcano shots. Sorry, uh, one per customer. Okay. Let's try another one. Marky, I'd like to order a drink. What'll it be? What'll it be? How about another one of those Fat Island fuzzy nostrils? Here you go! Alright, what's this gonna do? Shall I try and. Hey, WP! Do it now? I'd like another crack at that feel like Google Jojo Rococo pepper. Back into the breach, eh? Admirable spirit! Let's go. I wish we didn't have to do this every time. It's annoying. Or may maybe we have to swap the pepper over with something. Is there like nothing really peppery? Is there? Is this, did we try the sack of sugar on there? Mm, no. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Let's see if I've built up a tolerance. <laughs> uh, no, a grog's not going to do it, is it? Apparently not. So I'm thinking either a fake tongue, or we swap the pepper, or we coat our mouth in something, like make it numb. Uh, maybe there's something on the buffet table that we've missed. Icky puddle, yeah, we, we, we've, we've done all that. Anything out here? No. Um, maybe the cat food that the crazy cat was eating? I mean, I don't... <laughs> no longer red carpet. I don't really want to eat cat food, to be honest. Guess they decided to put the rug inside after it was cleaned. Um. Well, I'm just, I'm just having a, a moment to think. Because none of the drinks here are numbing my tongue. I haven't got anything that can be swapped out for a pepper by the looks of it. I mean, a fake tongue, maybe? Maybe, um... Maybe there's a fake tongue somewhere or something that looks like, like a piece of meat somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Ouch! Oh, why does he keep doing that? I've got to find that. That's got to be something to do with the, the electric electricity thing. Right, fake tongue. I'm thinking... I'm thinking, um... Oh, what's his name? Dishinge. His place. He might have, like, a fake tongue or something that looks... Kind of grisly or something. 
Let's give that a go. Maybe a glass tongue. Speak to that the glass maker in a minute, see if he has a glass tongue. Right. Okay, so this is Oh. What the She's gone. What happened to Morgan's body? No way. She's gone. She was alright really, it was just a, just a bit of corona. Uh balcony. Can we go on the balcony? Refreshing. Ooh, interesting. Can I do anything else? I don't think so. Right, we're looking for a tongue or a bit of meat or anything. I mean, there's loads of stuff in here, wasn't there? Door to disturbing room. I'm not going back in there. Uh, it's gross. Maybe this guy. Did the singe murder you too? Yes, he did. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Uh, picture projector. Maybe. What's that say? Pointless shock pedal. Jar of, jar of dead fireflies. Let's have a look at the picture. So it reveals anything that else. That doesn't look good. No, it doesn't. Um, Why well, do I mean. Okay, if it's not a dead tongue, a fake tongue, maybe. Oh, I don't know. This must have been broken in the fight between Morgan and DeSinge. I hope the vole escaped. Um. Oh, this was the crazy helmet, wasn't it? What did this do again? Ow! Turned me upside down, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, help? Doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. Um. Totally useless microscope. I'm trying to think how we could. Let me have a look. Let me let me read this again. Where is it? Right, we're on the third one. Before the main course, cleanse your palate with taste that hits you like a mallet. Cleanse your palate. It's got to be either a fake tongue, fake tongue, or a. Um, let me have a think. Fake tongue. Or coat, cleanse your palate. So I better fold this up before I put it in my like pocket. Something like crazy seawater or something. Um. Oh, rack of chemicals. Didn't I could try before. to mix up those chemicals, but I'd probably just end up exploding, and not in the funny way. No. Um. I don't know. What are the buttons that happened on this? The one that shrunk, shrunk me like a rat. What? My tongue? Oh, he's got a numb tongue. He's got a numb tongue. <laughs> um, he's got a numb. Have I still got a numb tongue? Numb tongue. Say that ten times. Numb tongue. Have I got a numb tongue? I think I've got a numb tongue. I'm going to keep saying numb tongue. Is he sticking his tongue out? I'm going. I'm. I'm Right, I'm going to go there and I'm going to lick that pepper to death. This feels kind of right, but kind of not at the same time. I'm going the wrong way. Where am I going? Club door. Right. He has. Look at his tongue. It's dead. I'm doing it right, everyone. I'm doing it right. Surely that deserves a thumbs up. Maybe even a go on, Michael, you can do it kind of comment. I don't know. I'm too excited to speak. <laughs> what can I do you for? Oh, I'd love to hear him say this. <laughs> you want to take the Fugu Jalokia challenge? Uh -huh. Why didn't you say so? Have at it, Captain. Oh, if you can see my face now, it is beaming. It is beaming like a, I, I don't know, a beam. That wasn't very, um, go on. It can't feel it, can't feel anything. Where bust my balustrades? Where 
Well done, Captain Threepwood. You've conquered the Fugu Jalokia and have won the right to keep it as your own. I like a clean living and a healthy co- oh! I probably got permanent colossal damage, but it was totally worth it to get my hook on that pepper. Fab you loso. Look at that. I'm going to put it on, on here. I feel like that's what we've got to do. Yes. It's a good thing the sponge doesn't have a tongue, or I'd be dunking it in the ocean right about now. I'm delighted, guys. I'm delighted. Um, and we've come to the end. We've started, and we've ended where we started, back in the bar, as we should, because we're a pirate. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm happy, and I hope you are too, and I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. Right, we're going to do the next three uh, in the next episode. Three in one. We can do it, probably. I mean, give me some encouragement down below. Anyway, uh, thanks very much, guys. If you have enjoyed it, thumbs up and all that stuff. Till next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right, right now. And take care.